on everybody, let's get to work. Is it snowy? Yes. No, yes, yeah. <laughs> Is it sunny? No. So, Boyd, what's it like working with these kids? Oh, these kids are great. They're really adorable. Yeah, it, they, they sure are. I, mm -hmm. I, I love them. I, it, it's sort of unfortunate to say, but there's a lot of kids that aren't so lucky. You know, they've left school, they're living on the street. But this is a story about a woman from Victoria who's really helping these kids. She, she hasn't given up on them, and she's teaching them not to give up on themselves. We're going here in the morning. Sandra Flex is off to work with her <coughs> two-year-old in tow. She starts early every day because Sandra has taken on the role of mother for 30 eight other kids. Isn't this a neat store? It's a neat store with neat staff. Dozens of street kids, runaways, kids who feel they don't fit in. But they do fit in with Sandra. Her job is to get these kids jobs. She teaches them skills they need to run the stores. Skills she hopes will turn their lives around. It's not for me to do for them, it's for them to do for themselves. All I do is facilitate, um, I hustle, you know, trying to get a lease on a place that they could start their own businesses, and then I go out and try and get stuff that we can sell. That is a super sale, all right. Have you been Secondhand selling? stuff like coffee yeah. mugs are sold out of Sandra's so mini empire, the inner city center. She set up a cafe, bike repair shop, bookstore, and woodworking shop. Sandra uses every penny made to pay the bills and the kids. Great fives. The kids sell stuff in the day, they keep half. The other half goes on to our $4,000 a month overhead. To cover the rest of the overhead, Sandra collects donations from businesses. Not a penny comes from government grants. Sandra used to work as a real estate agent, made a pretty good living too. But she just couldn't ignore the homeless kids she saw every day on her way to work. She quit the day job, a tough decision because she knew there was no going back. I had to commit myself for a long time because they know I'm always there for them. If there's a problem, I'm always there. Toilet coming through, dogs out of the way. Now her full-time job is working with the kids, teaching job skills. Everything from buying supplies to managing money. Every day we go shopping. Thanks to Sandra, Toby, the inner city's cook, learned how to stretch a loony. With a budget of just $20, he makes two meals a day for up to 30 workers. This is an opportunity for any people our age, you know. I mean, we don't have to work for anybody, for any large corporation or large business. If you want to come in here and you want to dedicate your time, you're going to see the results of it. And Sandra has dedicated herself to the kids. What she does goes beyond the job. Whenever somebody's got a problem, it's like Sandra help, and Sandra's there to help. 24-year-old Anthony would know. He had a problem fitting in. He didn't feel like he belonged. He was living in the street, sleeping in city parks. But all that changed when he met Sandra. First, he took a drum workshop at the center. Then he took a job booking all the musical acts for the cafe. Now he's living in an apartment and discovering a whole new way of doing things. I'm actually starting to look at the world from an adult perspective as having to pay rent and having bills to pay and you know the fact that money does exist and it's not just something that mom and dad give you so that you can go to the store. For some kids like Gypsy, Sandra is the closest well, thing to having family. I was in trouble where I had to like deal with the law and stuff and if it wasn't for Sandra I would have been in jail. No one gives them a break. You know they get picked up for something, it's, it's a petty thing, they're in court, no one's goes and shows up. There's no parents, there's no um, no one from a community background to write a letter to say, I know this person, he's a good person. So I go to court quite often with them. Gypsy now holds down two jobs. He's the caretaker at the center and he runs the bike shop. He knows life would be very different without Sandra's work. She's like my mother. I got in trouble and almost went to jail and figured I was on my own, but I wasn't. It's a sentiment that's shared by the kids. She really cares. That's you know she does she does this out of love, and um, that's the most important part. She's like helped out like thousands of kids, and she's done more than any politician could ever possibly do. For Sandra, the payoff comes at the end of the day when she sees the kids take responsibility. When you leave there at night, that those kids are now running a whole series of business by themselves, that you don't have to be there 10, 12 hours a day anymore, that you just have to phone down and go, hey guys, how's it going? Is, you got the doors locked, is this done, is this done? They go, yeah, yeah, go to bed, Sandra, don't worry about it, click. That, to me, is success.
Okay, Canada, don't go away. I go to work on the Air Force, sitting in for Don Ferguson with co-star Roger Abbott. Why on earth, Seamus, would anybody want to buy a copy of that magazine? Oh, Mother of God, good point. <laughs> <laughs> Elsewhere.